Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a quick update. I want to give everybody a thanks for for being here. Um, I took the Microsoft SC200 Security Ops Analyst exam last night, and I passed it. It was definitely not open book like we've been seeing go around on the social medias. It's not one of those tests that's open book, so you definitely need to study for it. Uh, but luckily enough, I passed. Um, I think I've gotten a, a good amount of feedback and have seen enough on the exam to what. I think really helps prepare. I think all the preparation around uh, Microsoft Sentinel itself um, really was a huge help. I think it was a very, very big uh, part of the exam, so it really helped me. So I was very excited to tell everybody that you know I passed the exam, but it's not open book. So definitely be very careful. Um, that's something that's been going around. That it is open book. It is not SC200. It is not an open book exam as of right now. It could always change, right? Microsoft changes everything, and I probably won't ever retake this in a non-renewal state so hopefully um, I can always keep it updated but luckily I've got the cert now so I can add this to the to the bench and then work on getting my AZ500 over the next few weeks and then um, I'll probably move into the Microsoft Cybersecurity Architect exam end of the year if all things go well um, and wrap up my next two before 2024 starts all over again we keep going but I real quick wanted to go over what I thought of the exam and what are some key things to know um, I have a story that I'm gonna push out later this evening uh, and basically how I passed this exam in less than 30 days right I wouldn't have been able to pass the exam if it wasn't for Microsoft Learn Microsoft Learn is absolutely the number one way that you can set yourself up for success on any Microsoft exam not just the SC200 and security operations um, so I put together some some ways to do it with some links Right. First thing, review the study guides, review the material, um, review the exam certification page. Right. So if you look at it, the first thing we have to understand is that we are going to be seeing a large proportion of our questions all around Microsoft Sentinel. Right. 50 to 55 percent of the questions were Microsoft Sentinel related. And I can tell you that a large portion of that was configuring Microsoft Sentinel, using log analytics and how it integrates it into the other Microsoft XDR services. Um, and then also right from there move right into the learning paths and learning modules right add all of those to a collection so you can study and go back and, and reference them they all have really really great material they have great um, labs for you but they also have documentation right so I created a collection there's a link in here if you go to the collection it's got all of those plus some extra goodies that I thought were useful for studying for certain pieces like KQL for example um, and then once you're done with that, I would say leverage the exam study guides, right? There's exam study guides that are out there that will help you ace the exam, right? In my opinion, I think the study guide having those objectives, you can go exactly to those places in Microsoft, whether it's in the Azure portal or security, and just learn all about that piece and feel very confident in it, right? But then there's another aspect to the exam prep page that a lot of people haven't really gone through yet I think in depth and that's the cert prep videos so the SC200 is one of those that has prep videos that are built by Microsoft training advisors and it's they're great right like the Microsoft Sentinel video itself was fantastic and told me a bunch about what I should be studying so I could go back um, I, I pretty much went through that video itself probably about three hours before the test and then 30 minutes before the test went through it one more time on what I wasn't sure on and that way I would be confident when I went into the test on at least on what questions they'd be asking and then also of course right follow you can add these this collection to a following and if you're so inclined can read through exactly what I did and I have some videos where we went through you know log analytics we learned on live on a couple videos so I definitely think um, those will be helpful and not to give myself too many plugs but some special areas that I would focus on are KQL queries. I absolutely hate KQL. For those of you that don't know what it is, it's the Custo query language. And in the show notes, I will put a person to follow who I think has written a few books himself on KQL. And yeah, it's just not my strong suit. It's based on the SQL, which I also hate adamantly. So it definitely took me some getting to know, but it was all over the test. So learn KQL, the basics of what it is, the different, um, strings the different parameters you need to know it uh, logic apps were also very like prevalent just in study material right I think learning how to use log 
logic apps and what their use cases are for Microsoft Sentinel is important. Defender for identity is also really important. Same thing with Defender for cloud. And then the Sentinel investigation pane. Know how to use Sentinel investigations and how it interacts, what your options are as an analyst, all really, really important. So once again, thank you guys for being along the journey. And until next time, I think we're going to start setting for Oracle later this weekend. So until then.